Good morning. Hope everybody is okay this morning. I am shuffling because, well, I'm shuffling. It's mon It's Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot the day again. It's the story of my life. Um, I really like going live in the mornings and um, I hope that you all find me okay. I'm not sure what's going on that's making me go live in the group instead of my page. I think I know what caused it. I just don't know how to fix it. So I've posted a couple of messages in some groups that I'm in and said, hey, does anybody know why? Um, so maybe that'll get fixed and maybe it won't. If it doesn't get fixed, that's okay because I still post the, the blog post, you know, cause, cause I do the video, I take my photos and then I create the, the blog post, the website post. I don't know why it's a blog. I don't even like the word blog, but I don't know. Nobody's asking me to change it. I'm not that trendy. Um, but I do have 85 subscribers to YouTube now. So whoo -hoo, if I could get to a hundred, that would be pretty awesome. Um, well, I know I'll get to a hundred. But it's when I get to 100, it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, feels like I was just here because I was. I was here yesterday. Anyway, after the website post, the blog post is created, then I, up to, I update the YouTube description with the link to the blog. Um, and I share the post, the blog post on Facebook in various places, hoping that you all can find it. And then it also goes out in an email to my blog subscribers. So subscribe to my blog, subscribe to YouTube, um, follow me on Facebook, join this group, um, all of those things, because nothing is foolproof. And I'm trying to get my arms around Instagram, but you know, there's only so much you can do and learn in a day. Ah, so, um, I seem to be performing okay. I have a horrendous headache. There is weather coming in today that is not going to be my friend. But I, um, I don't know if you saw the title of the post today, but it started out with um, something about googly eyes. And um, it occurred to me after I shared that, that you know what? Googly eyes are... Um, well, they're fun, but they're always missing. I find something and I want to use googly eyes with it, but where are they? They're, who knows? They're somewhere in here, right? So I feel like you, you, you find something you want to use with googly eyes and you can't find what you know you have. So you go buy more and you bring them home and then you use them. And then you put the remainder away somewhere because you can't use all of them, right? And then there's another project and you want googly eyes for it and you can't find your stash. So you go buy more. The dang things are multiplying. At some point, I'm going to have to send out an SOS for somebody to rescue me from googly eyes. I am so, so proud to say that I found googly eyes today when I wanted them. So I've just been kind of giggling over here to myself, um, trying to take my mind off of the headache. Uh, so I think this is going to go really fast. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Okay. So here's the workspace and, um, we are inspired today by Audra Monk, I think is her name. And she made a six by six. Well, actually it's probably a little bit bigger than a six by six framed piece with the cactus cuties. Okay. So where are the cactus cuties? Here are the cactus cuties. There is a punch that goes with it that I am going to grab. And they're actually about three cards that I really wanted to show today, but there's just not time. And, um, and I need to save some for my class next week. So next Thursday, uh, the online class will feature four cactus cuties designs. Um, so, um, don't know if they'll be googly eyes or not, but there might be. Anyway, Audra made a, a little framed piece with this and she used googly eyes and it is so stinking cute. And, um, I know I'm going to make that, that today. I hope today, um, for someone else, but I wanted to make a card first. So let's get started. I've got all of my stamps on blocks already. All right. So I've got an assortment of D's. 
um, C's, uh, B's, and an A, um, which I laughed because it made me think of these workout videos that I do with my friend Rosemary, where um, the instructor always tells us what weights she has in her hands um, for a particular exercise. I'm also working with the, oh my gosh, um, pattern party paper that is in, so this is a host only um, paper, um, right back here in the annual catalog on page 171. This paper is amazing. It's in a huge value. We've talked about it before. And um, the new one in the new catalog is pretty awesome too. But I, I love this. One side is black and white. The other side is full of some fun, bright patterns. And so that is what I pulled out today. Audra used the rainbow happiness paper in hers. And I still have a ton of that. And I thought about pulling it out. But um, I, I know that you can't buy that. So I pulled out this one instead because you do still have an opportunity to get it. All right. So we have a granny apple green card base. Um, and then I have some of that pat pattern party paper party pit whatever um, and I've already cut a layer then I've got another granny apple green layer and I've got a basic white layer so we're gonna do some stamping on here and we're gonna do some stamping cutting and um, punching before we get to our reading um, okay sorry I'm afraid the security system is about to be activated because they just stopped to pick up our recycling all right, I got lots of colors here. I have Night of Navy, Early Espresso, Granny Apple Green, Just Jade, Flirty Flamingo, and Cinnamon Cider. Now, just a reminder, Cinnamon Cider and Just Jade are going away. I think that you can still get these. Um, there's a hodgepodge of in colors, in color products that have already gone away, but I think that these two pads are still available. I think that Misty Moonlight is still available, but you have a chance today to earn a brand new Misty Moonlight ink pad for commenting, liking, commenting, and sharing my video. And you can do that here on Facebook. You can do it on YouTube if you're watching this, the replay on YouTube, or you can do it on the, the website itself. When you scroll down to the post, there's a place for you to leave a comment there. So, um, comments and testimonials make my heart feel so good. Um, so please feel free. Now don't add any nasty comments. Okay. I don't like any nasty ones. I just want friendly ones. Okay. So I'm kind of excited. Let's start stamping. Now our punch punches out one of the bases. Where's my base? Okay. So it punches out this base. It punches out this little cactus guy and I guess actually I should show you on the it'd be easier to see on here so the punch which I know it's got a bad glare maybe if I turn it over is that helpful okay so this is this and then this is this and then this is this one and then this little guy is here and this punch is a little different because it actually punches inside the stamped image so it doesn't leave a white edge around it um, so that that is a little that's a little different um, and actually would probably make it easier in some sense for us to just go ahead and punch some of these so I'm gonna need I'm gonna need one of okay we're gonna do it this way and then we'll figure out okay so we're gonna need one of these we're gonna need a whole bunch of those and we're gonna need one of those and we're gonna need quite a few of those so what do you do this like I said this one is a little different so you could use this as a template and stamp inside here to get the pieces that you need um, I'm not gonna do that today I don't think um, I'm going to use some scraps that I have to get the extra pieces that we need. Now I got to pay attention. Um, 
because this is the guy and I want three about five or six of those and let's see are you you're not quite wide enough I only need a couple of these guys and my little half inch strip here is wide enough for them um, and let's see if I've got a strip I do so let's go this way and get this little guy so I'm not sure who's watching with me yet it's just showing up um, Facebook user there should be a place for you to allow Ecamm to show your name. Um, so I'm sorry if I'm not calling you by name, it's because all it's showing me is Facebook user. And again, I think that's because I'm over in my group um, that it doesn't remember you. I don't know. These are just minor things in going on in the world, isn't it? All right, so I got six of those. Well, hello, Hope. How was the game last night? The meeting was a blast. You'll have to go back and watch Carrie's talks. All right, everything else we're going to stamp and then fussy cut. So if you're not a fussy cutter, I'm sorry. All right, this little guy I am going to stamp in cinnamon cider. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll do the stamping and the cutting. And some of my inks could use a little re-inking. But I think we're okay. So can you see there? Okay, maybe if I... I can actually, I think, zoom in a little bit more. Well, not much. But I think you can see how there's no white. It's going to color. It's going to fill the whole thing. Yay! We won! Awesome. Now it's not uncommon for your stamped images to get stuck sometimes. That will take your pick tool. It does so many things. Um, okay, that is all that we need of that one. This little guy we're going to actually stamp in um, just jade. I'm so excited just looking at those little. Um, little googly eyes who doesn't need a little happiness and laughter on this rainy day of course it's not rainy yet which is why my head hurts it's just coming okay this little guy needs some more ink this little guy being my ink pad but luckily, I purchased the re-inkers when I purchased my ink pads, which is something that I always recommend that you do as well. And that way you don't get caught um, not having the re-inker when you need it. All right, and that's all of that. And then these are all just jade. That always makes me think of um, just Jack from Will and Grace from forever ago. Yeah, no, that was a funny show. I hope that this card makes you guys smile. And we know I stamped that, it's just upside down. Um, one of the cards that I wanted to share today that I'm going to use in the class next week because I forget to use my designer series paper, that pattern paper, um, as a die cut image. And, one of, and some of my favorite cards do, but I just forget. So we're going to do that. We're going to cut out a circle and a scallop circle behind it from the designer series paper and then build on that and it's just such a neat effect but I won't get to that today because of the fussy cutting that's going to take place here it's going to take a little time and I didn't do that ahead of time all right so there's okay there's that but you don't go together 
No, you do. Sorry. You do go together. Y'all have fun. And then that is it for the Just Jade. So set it over here. Then, and that's that for that stamp. Now, this little, these little guys we're going to stamp in Flirty Flamingo. week I have lots of friends with birthdays. My aunt's birthday was the 10th and so was my friend Susan's. Whoops. Now how did I do that? Okay. Well, I think that took real skill to only stamp part of it. But now we've got it better. Okay. So we've got those. Now I don't know, y'all might be too zoomed in. Shall I pull you back out a little bit? And why are you over there now? Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, is that it for the Flirty Flamingo? It is. So now we need, oops, we need Granny Apple Green. We'll do a couple of these. We're gonna do this tall guy. And so a number of you all have seen the um, the fundraiser that I am doing with um, Jeannie Nielsen and Judy Tuttle. They asked me to participate with them in that, and um, I'm so happy with that. I'm so so exciting to feel like I, we're, we get to make some small difference and I'm sure that's how you probably feel as well. Okay, this one's early espresso. I'll pull out the cards that I designed and you can see them. Mine don't even have any stamping. You certainly could stamp on them, but um, mine I designed just using the, the Memories and More cards and they aren't stamped and I'm going to pull them out right now because I will forget if I wait more than three seconds um, I'm going to have to remember where I put them oh my gosh where are you Where are you? So I've even labeled some of these and I still. Oh. Here they are. Right where they should be. Okay. One. Okay. In the drawer labeled Memories and More. Now I haven't added any bling to mine because I do that last, but here's one of the cards. And here is the other, a second card, and then card number three. And then they have lovely matching envelopes. I'm just gonna leave that open because, because. All right, now, get all my dirty stamps out of the way. Get my punch out of the way. Get my scissors. And I'm not gonna lie, gonna need my reading glasses because I still haven't decided what to do about my contact prescription. So next week, next Monday, YouTube Live is scheduled. Um, and I know I won't be able to do that. I am hoping to record something ahead of time. Um, if not, I will replay a previous video from a year or so ago. I can't believe I've been actually doing Facebook Live that, that long, but I have. Um, Monday Night Zoom is still planned. Um, I probably won't really participate, but I will get it started and then either turn it over to somebody else 
or um, I don't know, just kind of playing that one by ear. The online class is next Thursday, and um, I'll probably record it just in case I'm not ready to do that. And I think the, the hanger there is my voice might still not be strong. Um, no big deal what's going on just kind of has a little impact to what we have, but has a little potential impact to what we have scheduled. So, um, so there is time to register for so many things. Um, we talked in the meeting last night about um, scrapbooking and crops and I was like oh my gosh Hope and I are ahead of the curve because we already have that scheduled on April 23rd so plan on joining us now actually Hope is going to be out of town um, and don't be sad for her because she has something really cool going on um, and and I shall miss her greatly we will all miss her greatly but she has been behind the scenes working on this event and it's going to be awesome but it's a day for you to come bring whatever you're working on and uh, if you need projects to work on we've got you covered we're going to have stuff there that you may purchase to work on and there's one small make and take your uh, one goodie one small goodie bag or one goodie bag darn it with um, a small four card make and take project. So I am cutting inside, not leaving a white edge because that matches what the punch has done. Uh, but your cutting doesn't have to be perfect because remember we're going to put googly eyes on these little guys in a second. So excited. Such a fun little stamp set. Now, if y'all ever want the projects to be something other than cards, um, like the, the home decor item I'm gonna do later, then speak up. Or if you have requests, you know, one of the projects last week, one of the cards last week was by special request. So, and we've also got a request to do a class with the Pansy bundle. And I can't promise I'm gonna do that one. That's gonna require some more pushing yeah yeah bright colors are great for a day like this wait till you see the in colors from the new catalog I did a little unveiling unboxing last night with the team and next up I'll get my um, just some of my displays ready and plan for a um, designer series paper share so everybody gets a little bit so you can get all a little touch of all of the papers at a an affordable price same with the ribbons same same principle all right guys it's time to put these little guys together so Let's go back over to the card base. And I'm not gonna give you all the measurements here. They will be um, posted. There'll be a card recipe posted on the website and you can get that there. I need to probably include a link so that you can print those off. Um, easily all right now can y'all see my little see I was practicing earlier to see if I liked my colors now okay <laughs> ah, 
where to start? All right, let's put him about here with this. So we're going to lay him out and see how we like him. Now, it might become very clear that I've not lived in the desert. I don't really know a great deal about what cactus cacti look like. See there, um, these guys are going to come like so. And then this one kind of here. And here. And then this one right there. So that's kind of how that's going to lay out. And then we've got room for a bit of a greeting down here. So everybody got that mental picture? I can start, right? So start in the center. And I'm going to put this little guy pretty much flat, but I'll do the other two pots on dimensionals. And if we don't leave enough room for a greeting, then we'll stamp that on a separate piece and add it in. Um, just uh, just a little touch of glue will give me room to get him in place. It looks like I came a fair bit lower when I put him down, which is which is fine because, like I said, we can add a um, we can take care of that greeting on a separate piece. Can you get over there? Whoops. Now I have glue on my fingers. That's going to make it fun. You guys can still see, right? So I was laughing with somebody yesterday because adding embellishments, I never quite know where to do that. And someone on the blog, Sarah, um, is so good at that. It just looks so amazing, just like hopes. And so I commented, I'm like, okay, so when are you going to teach me how to do this? And another sweet friend reached out and said that she loved my comment because she found herself, you know, questioning everything that she moves them around about, you know, several times and then finally just puts them somewhere. I'm like, yeah, I pretty much get to that point too. I just want to throw them, and see where they land. So I was pretty excited because googly eyes, I got a fairly good shot at knowing where their eyes should be. At least that's my thought process. Okay, oops, just one for you. And I don't think a big one will hold, go there. Let's see if we've got a little one. I'll grab a couple of small mini dimensionals here. I've seen that um, a few of the adhesives, the seal, the seal plus, I think just the refills might be not orderable. Um, I have some on hand. I always have a stash of that. So one of these drawers behind me is full of nothing but refills. So if you are in a bind, um, you are welcome to come and purchase from my stash. That's why I have it. Um, they aren't available. Is that what? And 
Oops, I've already stuck him down. Darn it. Okay, and I want you about here. Okay. Now the googly eyes I have are stamping up, but they are not current. So these are not, don't get excited that you're gonna be able to purchase these googly eyes. Um, but the robot kit does include googly eyes and there are leftovers. But look at all these they have, and they even have um, purple, these were like from Halloween a while back. So they have some, some of them have purple backgrounds and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to add a couple of little dots on each guy where I want his eyes. And this might be a tight fit up here, depending on how small some of these are. We're going to let that get tacky for a second or two. Uh, while we pick out our eyes. So that one looks like, oh my gosh, they're going to jump all over the place. See, I truly am going to need saving from googly eyes. Um, let's see, that one's, that looks bigger to me. And then let's find another set of small ones. Might be kind of fun to give them different size. What were these from? The Monsters um, set? Is that what these coordinated with back then? Okay. Missed. And then suddenly I'm thinking of Veggie Tales. I don't know why. This is what happens when you take Tylenol. I did not let this get tacky enough, and so I've still got too much wiggle room. Oh my gosh, do y'all love it? His eyes are really close together. I think that's okay. All right, let's look at our greetings and see if anything jumps out. First, lid on the googly eyes before they go everywhere because the cats would have a field day with that. So, just a note, hello. Um, and I'm thinking, let's see. I love the the font on this just a note okay what do you think about right there or do you like hello up here Invite. I think I kind of like the hello And I need, I'm going to have to clean off a block. The horror. Um, and let's um, stamp this in maybe. So if you have joined us somewhere in the progress, the the prize that will be drawn probably on Sunday um, because Monday I feel like I will be out of commission uh, is a misty moonlight ink pad brand new not unwrapped no need to discuss why I have one brand new and unwrapped why did I need that well because I fat fingered the item code 
when I was ordering something else. And to my surprise, I opened my box and found a stamp pad. All right, and I'm going ahead and just cleaning these because I'm just killing time for those googly eyes to get settled. Ah, sorry, that was probably loud. So that I can glue all of this together. Okay. How badly am I? Maybe not too bad. Okay, so we're going to put this on here. And then I'm not going to add, a lot of times I would put this on dimensionals to put it on the card. I am not going to do that today because those googly eyes add a fair bit of dimension and I might want to mail this. Okay, just being kind of careful. This is the piece that a lot of times I would put on the card with dimensionals, and I'm not doing that today. Okay, I'm pretending that I can see whether or not it's straight. We all know I can't. Everybody must have one shortcoming, right? Oh my gosh, I think that is so stinking cute, but you know, Stella would make it even better. So we are gonna add a little Stella to the flirty flamingo. I think that is just so, so cute. I hope you guys do too. All right, so um, still lots of classes to register for. There's the event on the 23rd at Glen Oaks, uh, which is going to be what we're calling the kit and crop, the fundraiser for the Ukraine. Um, and Card Club is still open for registration. So uh, even though it feels like we're nearly, we're flying through April, we still have lots of time to stamp together, and I'm so glad for that. I hope that you all have a very blessed day. Stay dry, and um, thank you so much for being here. Remember to comment uh, and to, uh, to share me with your friends if you like what you see. Uh, don't leave any bad comments. I don't, I don't like nasty comments. My ego can't handle that. But um, friendly comments are always appreciated. Have a great day, everybody. I hope that I see you very soon. Bye-bye.